Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our MathDog integer series of games. And if you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play as well as fun games and teaching tools to use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required. Okay, when you first start the game, you're going to see this menu. Now, I'll be reviewing specifically the integer edition game with addition problems involving positive and negative numbers, but this game plays the same as the addition, I'm sorry, the integer subtraction, the integer multiplication, and integer division uh, versions of these games, with exceptions of the problems uh, and the uh, titles, and but pretty much they play all the same. Okay, when you start, you're going to see this More Games button, and if you click that, that'll take, us, that'll take you to our website, mathnote.com. If you click the Video button, it'll take you to the page containing this video, and if you click this button here, this will toggle the music on and off, and this will toggle the sound effects off and on. So if you have both, uh, both showing X's, there won't be any sound at all, whereas if you leave this on, you will have some sound effects, uh, but just no music. Okay, let's go ahead and click the play button, and at that point, you will have the choice of playing beginner, advanced, or expert. The only difference will be the beginner problems are easier than advanced problems, which are easier than the expert problems, and also there's more number choices. There's more choices of answers uh, in expert than there is beginner. Let's go ahead and click beginner, and now you have to choose between normal and time attack. And if you click back, it just takes you back to the previous menu so you can make the choices again. Uh, normal will be untimed version. Time attack is a time version. We'll take a look at both of those, but let's first take a look at the normal version. Now, when you first start out, you're going to have a problem, with, usually with the negative, with uh, problems with negatives and positive numbers. And the first time in, it's going to tell you that. Uh, give you a gimme, basically it tells you which is the correct answer, just to get you started. And if you notice down here, I've just started the game, so there's correct answers in a row is zero, and my record is zero. Let's go ahead and click the answer. Negative four plus five is one. Negative five plus zero is negative five, but you notice correct answers in a row is one, and record so far is one. Let's go ahead and click that. And if I get the answer wrong, it's going to tell me 0 plus 0 is, e is equal to 0, which is a problem up here, and I chose 1. Let's go back to the menu. Let's play this version again. Now you notice the record was 2. That's what I did earlier, but I, since I started over, the correct answer is in a row is 0. So this is going to be 1 and negative 3, and we've already seen what happens when I get the wrong answer. And it tells me what the correct answer is and what I chose. Okay, let's take a look at the timed version here. Now when you start, you're going to have a bar, this red bar. It's moving down, and once it reaches down here to the very end, uh, the time will be up. And each time you answer a question, the bar gets uh, will run down quick, uh, sooner. Let's go ahead and answer that real quick. So every time you answer a uh, question, you have less time so that... Uh, it, gets uh, harder and harder as you go along. And you notice the this this is different than the other one because this is a different version of the game. Or I should say a different mode. Now, I don't know, I didn't mention it, but I, you probably saw it. But when it gets down low, this guy will start moving around telling you you have very little time to answer the question. And when time runs out, It'll basically tell you that the time's up, and this guy will, the bar will get down here. It'll tell you time's up, and this guy drops off the screen, letting you know that uh, you ran out of time. So we'll give it just a few, another second or two, and time's up. It says out of time, and you can choose to replay, and you notice the correct answer is rows back to zero. The record was three in this particular uh, mode. And if I get one wrong, go back to the menu. And that's how you play. Well, I hope you have fun playing this game. Hope this video has helped some, and thanks for watching.